Okay, back on GitHub, uh, I've got uh, my second user account, Babykosh. And Babykosh wants to, uh, he wants to find a repo that he wants to uh, collaborate on. Just something to maybe just uh, play around with. Now I can go to uh, the Fonzo's account, right? Still me as Babykosh. Now I'm looking at the Fonzo, right? And I want to, uh, I want to check out what, uh, what, what Fonzo's got going on here with this Kata form. Hmm, Kata form. What is that? Okay, it's a basic website and form Kata. All right, it looks like something I want to be interested in, right? So I have two options here. Um, I can now either watch uh, what uh, what Fonzo does on his uh, on his app, and every time he does something, I get some notification on on my account. Uh, or I want to actually fork the code and have an opportunity to uh, play around with the code and uh, collaborate with Fonzo if I choose to. So in this case, that's what I want to do. I want to fork that. And now I'm doing a nice hard forking action. It is, forking is, is git talk for copying. Okay, that's, that's all that's happening here. It's just making a copy um, over to my account and it's, uh, see now you see, see it says babykosh, kind of forked from the Fonzo, right? I'm still babykosh. And that is uh, this indication, this area down here is indicating what was the very last thing that was pushed uh, by the Fonzo to his original source code. Uh, just find uh, uh, something out there that you want to play around with, do a hard fork, and uh, you can now actually download this to your own, uh, to your own machine if you, if you want to. You just clone that. Clone, yeah? So now it is cloning it to my machine. All right, let me switch back over. And that's it, basically. Uh, you just kind of find somebody, that's just somebody, somebody's code out that you want to play around with, fork it, and then uh, pull it down to your machine. And that's it.